Hi everyone, this will be a traditional granny square. For this tutorial I'm using Relana Capri's Big Yarn and an 8mm crochet hook. And we start with a slip knot. For this create a circle, put the long strand under the circle and pull it through. There you have a loop, insert your hook into the loop and then tighten. I will start a little bit the front side of the strand or at the beginning of the strand and then we have to chain stitches so we need four you can also try to chain three or five so yarn over and pull through this creates a chain stitch second third and the fourth Okay. Now we have to close this to get the circle and I insert my hook into the first stitch, turn yarn over and pull through all the loops and this is a slip stitch. Now we have to chain three, one, two, and three and we crochet two double crochets through the ring so we're not using a stitch we go through the ring for a double crochet yarn over insert your hook into the ring then yarn over and pull through you have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through the first two yarn over and pull through the last two this one is a double crochet. The first three chain stitches they count as a double crochet. So we need one more double crochet, then chain two, one and two and three double crochets. can see here a corner. Now two chain stitches, then again three double crochets, two chain stitches, and three double crochets. Then chain two. And now you can see we have three corners and for the fourth we have to join and we have here our three chain stitches from the beginning and we count one, two, three and then insert your hook into the third stitch and then slip stitch, okay? And now we have our square, then we slip stitch each stitch until the next corner so you insert your hook into the next stitch and then slip stitch like this and then slip stitch also through the corner and now we can start again with our corner group which we had here three double crochets two chain stitches and three double crochets for this again chain three one two three then we have our two double crochets all into this corner everything into this corner then chain two and three 
double crochets into the corner. One, two, and three. And then chain one. And this is the group for each corner. So you continue doing this for each corner. So again, three double crochets. Two chain stitches. Then here also three double crochets, chain one and so on until you finish the next row or round. So this is the second round and to join you have here your three chain stitches and you count one two three and then slip stitch and if you want to change the color you can now cut the yarn and pull it through the last stitch here and sew in the ends later and then you take another color and you start also with a slip knot and then you insert your hook through a corner here and then slip stitch And you start with your group, as you already know, with chaining three, whoops, chaining three, and then two double crochets. Chain two, three double crochets. And then chain one and what you see here we have four corners but we have also a space here so the first round we didn't have any spaces any sp yeah any space or any spaces and now we have a space in between so we will crochet three double crochets through this space or into this space and chain one and continue here with your group three double crochets chain two and three double crochets and chain one then here again only three double crochets and chain one for the space and corner again space corner and so on and each round will have more spaces so if we continue here doing the double crochets You see we have, for the next round, we have here two spaces. So you would have to crochet here three double crochets, chain one, and here also three double crochets and chain one. And then you can continue with your group for the corner. Yeah, that's it. So you join the round as usual and you can change the colors as you like. So I hope this tutorial was helpful and until next time, bye bye.